Hi, I'm Kate from OffGamers.com, and today we're doing a first look at Rift, a game that has been out for quite a while, but has recently changed to free-to-play. Before we start, I'm going to throw a little bit of this beautiful opening sequence at you. He's headed for a tear. Hurry! Where are your gods now, Guardian? I wasn't chosen for my fate. No! Life Rift! Wow, that was a pretty cutscene. We're just gonna run real quick through the character creation. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on beginner stuff like normal because it's such an older game. I really like the little ivy hat thing. I think that's pretty cute. I'm just gonna alternate between gameplay and description of stuff that's changed. This guy is taking forever to kill. We're gonna do a fireball to the face. He's like, whoa! Oh, he turned into a little ghost. He's running away. And I just stole money from his dead body. Okay. Sorry, ghost. Please don't haunt me. <laughs> Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna murder this guy. Just like that. And now... He is going to run away! No, come back! Come back, dead guy! Take me with you! Okay, he disappeared. So the dead people disintegrate, or the ghosts do anyway, but where do they go? Hmm, I don't know. A lot has changed since Rift went free to play, such as uh, Dimensions, the Rift Shop, of course, they added fishing, class presets, released Ember Island Zone, Ariel from Victoria's Secrets Guild has volunteered to show us around her dimension. It's similar to the houses like in um, Spirit Tales or the rooms from Fantasy Star Universe. Um, the only difference is, is, at the moment, the dimensions do not have any real um, good purpose other than a couple training buddies and, uh, well, of course, you, you know, um, role-playing. Just gonna get in bed with our guest here. Ooh. Oh, I love the smell of lesbians in the morning. So, you know what? If you like Rift, check out Neverwinter. Or if you like Neverwinter, check out Rift. We actually have a first look video on Neverwinter. I just got done doing it not that long ago. So check that out too. Extract the bloody sword from the dead corpses. What an awesome quest. When you get quests like this, you just gotta stop and think. Who wants bloody swords from corpses? Or more appropriately, who would leave their sword in a corpse after they have killed them? Somebody is gonna be spending a fortune on swords, and they are not gonna be happy. I can just see it now. They're just like, walk into their camp base, and they're like, Hey Jim, how's it going? And they're like, not bad. And they're like, hey, did you leave your sword in a bloody corpse? Yeah. Well, shrink is up this month, so we gotta stop leaving our swords in bloody corpses. Oh man, that sucks. I mean, seriously, that's just weird. There's lots of fun stuff to explore in this game. It's pretty uh, open world, free roam. I really like that sort of thing. 
What the heck is this? This is a a skeleton guy beaming this dude in the face. Is is this is this like like the Luna Mind Meld? Okay. Yeah, that was totally a really cripified version of the Luna Mind Meld. Like skeleton Luna mind melding this poor innocent person like you are an evil zombie man remember how you were an evil zombie man in the past okay it's totally not how it went but that is what i was thinking and i had a good chuckle out of it as you have probably noticed uh you see a dog in a top hat constantly itching himself he's got some really bad fleas and you can get this flea ridden dog by buying in-game cash shop. Since Rift is now free to play versus pay to play, they have to gather money to support the servers in a different way. Um, we're gonna just take a quick look at some of these. Um, there is a traditional cash shop, as I said, where you can buy um, each individual item, like a three day boost or 15, 15 day boost or whatever. But there's also an extra feature, which I think is pretty cool called Rex. You can buy Rex in the cash shop or if you make the long trip to Sanctum or Meridian, which is very long as a newbie, trust me, to the auction house, you can search for Rex. And if you look, you can buy it with in-game money. And that's a feature that I see all the time, begged and begged for in so many MMOs. And this is, this is actually the only MMO that I know of that has in-game tradable points with this rec system and um, it does cost a lot but if you're a hardcore player and you just don't have the extra money it's absolutely great before we go on to the last section of the cash shop stuff um, let's have a look at these mounts which is you get a little horse in the tutorial here and holy crap tentacles everywhere tentacles of doom and lightning and purple and and their tentacles sucking into the ground and I could make a terrible joke here but I, it, I won't go there I won't you can just use your imagination there is some open swim in this game and you can see my butt but it's censored censored for this video if you want to see a girl butt you're, gonna, you're just going to play riff for yourself last but not least is the loyalty points and basically it's a bonus uh, if you spend so much cash shop or Rex or whatever, you get like these extra little bonus points. And if you collect enough of them, uh, you get different tiers. And different tiers give you different items. And you know what you can get from the blue tier? You can get yourself a hottie. Yeah. It's, it's an owl, but it's a hottie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, I mean, there's, there's some pretty nice rewards for each tier and of course it's gonna take a little while to get up unless you spend a lot but um, like this one summoned your friends and uh, you even have a mount that runs as fast as your fastest mount or a pretty high percent and that is all I've got for you guys today so I will see you next time we are doing a review on a brand spanking new MMO called Prime World see you there Next time on OffGamers.com, your gaming alliance.